Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TGN and we are back for another DCU video and just wanted to inform you guys of the latest and greatest news that we are going to be getting as far as content for the summer of 2018 for DCUO. So as you see in the title, yes I am so smart, I called it. I guess by the little teaser trailer, I guess it was pretty easy to uh, figure out. But episode 32 will be centered around the Teen Titans. So they say here, it is going to obviously bring us the home of the Teen Titans, which is the Titans Tower. Um, the episode will be called Teen Titans, the Judas Contract, which apparently was a storyline from back in the early 80s. Well, actually 1984, the year I was born. Yes, I'm fucking old. I understand that. Um, so... Uh, basically, it says here that Cyborg has joined the Justice League, so the Titans are looking for new recruits, and that means you heroes, villains will look. Uh, you heroes, villains will look to infiltrate the Titans at the request of the Fearsome Five, and both heroes and villains will have to do well enough in training to show the Titans they have the right stuff. So there's going to be um, a lot of things going on here. So it says things to know about the Judas contract. Now you can find all this information on the forums if. Uh, you you wish you can read this all for yourself but if you don't look into the forums if you're not someone who does i'm gonna just tell you all what i see right now so things to know about juice contract it will be a large-scale episode and event uh with level agnostic event versions of content available for a limited time so basically what that means is like they've been doing with the previous episodes if you are not in the top n content if you're not a top tier cr as long as you're like level 10, you'll be able to do a lower difficulty version of the content and get gear based on whatever level you are. And obviously, if you are in that tier 9 range as far as combat rating, you'll be able to do the harder um, difficulties of things. You'll be able to do the elite stuff. You'll be able to get the level who knows what it'll be at this point but you'll be able to get all the all the good gear and the style so it doesn't really say what the like style will be that just says that it'll launch new player rewards new gear new style new pace items and feats as per usual with anything uh the episode will feature new and returning heroes nightwing raven damian wayne version of robin red robin which um is is that the tim i believe that's tim drake if i'm not mistaken uh tara who uh, was friends with Robin and was a villain at one point, Jericho and more, terrorizing my character, that's Earth. Cool. The storyline will include a variety of single-player and multiplayer adventures set in, in and around Titan's Island and Titan's Tower. So, some new environments, finally. Awesome, that's great. No problems there. Um, this, is, this is definitely something that's good. I like the fact that they are branching out from, like, the Superman and the Batman stuff. Uh, you know, like the normal heroes that everybody knows about. There's, so they're doing kind of like uh, more stuff relating to like comic fans and people who are like, in fact, like hardcore DC fans, which I like. They're obviously bringing in some new characters here, which is awesome as well. And that's always a good thing. I've, I've been saying that they should be doing this for a long time. So that's awesome. I love it. So it's going to launch in July. So they don't necessarily say when. It's no, there's no specific date, but sometime in July. Then also we are getting something called Augments, which is a new system. Uh, so essentially, um, it says the modern superhero and supervillain is always evolving, seeking out and utilizing the latest magic, metagenes, and tech available for advantage in the field. So um, for years in DCUO, this has meant R&D. So like... Uh, creating, you know, soda colas and equipment mods and all that shit. Um, so this new thing is going to be why modify gear when technology may soon exist to modify the body. Introducing augments designed to supplant and replace the current R&D system. Augments are similar but go beyond equipment mods. Instead of socketing into gear like mods, and needing them to be removed or replaced frequently, augment sock into your character's body and rank up like artifacts and provide a wide array of new bonuses and stats. So that's fucking awesome. Because that's one thing that has always bothered me personally, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that too, about um, like equipment mods, is you, you get like a whatever the top end gear is at that particular time you modded out with the highest thing and then as soon as the next episode comes out whatever you did 
to mod that gear that you did have becomes obsolete once the next episode comes out. So having this, being able to like kind of socket different parts of the actual character's body, like maybe there's like a head and legs and chest and all that shit, um, and have it level up like artifacts, that's really cool. Now granted, it might suck because that's just one other thing that you're going to have to focus on leveling up and you might end up stretching your time and your focus a little thin, but all in all, I think the artifacts overall is a great thing. I've been pro artifacts since they've come out because they definitely help with stats if you can level them up. It's not a bad thing, especially with this, every stat counts as we know at this point. So to have something like this where you can just socket it once into, into your character's body, that'd be it, and it levels up like the artifact, that's awesome. Like I said, every little bit will help. And so in this case, I am all for it. I really like the idea with this. So the guy says, we're replacing equipment mods with a new system called Augments. Augments take the best elements of equipment mods and combine them with the original DCO, DCO lore. Um, this creates an exciting new system where you can customize your character in a convenient, powerful, and interesting way. Ooh. <laughs> uh, things to know. This new system will replace R&D equipment mods. Augments will socket directly into your character's body in a new addition to the character UI. Augments will provide stats and additional bonuses. Augments will rank up over time, similar to artifacts, so that you become more powerful. That's cool. Uh, legacy R&D items will transition smoothly, and this will launch in August. So we'll have the new episode, episode 32 in July. We're going to get the augments in August so once this stuff comes out we'll obviously show you all the good stuff we'll walk you through it I'll walk you through it the first time that I do it like we'll show everything all in all like I said I think this is a good idea hopefully they implement it and execute it well because I, I like I said I've been pro artifacts since they've come out Sorry, the phone flip. So they've, you know, I've been pro artifacts since they've come out because they've been so, so helpful. So I think that all in all, this will be a very, very good thing if they can execute it nicely. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about episode 32? Are you excited about Teen Titans content? Are you excited for basically another way to get stat bonuses, which will only end up helping us because of the stats revamp? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time.